Warstride Challenges is a speedrunning themed first person shooter for PC and consoles that I already covered. Yeah, last year I did a sponsored video for Early Access, and here I am again, back with another video sponsored by Focus Entertainment. Please check out the link in the video description, as going through there helps me track the traffic to the game through this video. Thanks a lot. I'm very happy to do it, because Warstride Challenges is awesome. I liked it a lot back in Early Access, but the official release version is phenomenal. Yes, phenomenal. I talked about a few issues I thought it had back in Early Access, and after seeing it in its current state, honestly I can't think of a single thing I would change about it at this point. Okay, I can think of one thing. A replay feature. We desperately need a way to rewatch our latest completion, to study what we did, learn from it, and also to record it if we want. You've got three chapters, each filled with a bunch of different levels to be beaten as fast as possible. There is a minimum time for all of them, so you do have to actually play them quickly. You can't just walk to the end. You'll learn how to string jumps together for a speed boost, slide, slide jump, weapon swap, and dominate several crucial powers found throughout your progress. Each trial gives you certain weapons to use. It all depends on the challenge you have to pass. You'll mainly want to go for headshots as you speed through levels, using your slow motion at the right moments because it's not infinite. Larger enemies will need a shotgun blast to one-shot, unless you want to pump a few rounds into them. High-powered rifles also do the trick, but they tend to have less ammo. One complaint that some people had about the old version of Warstride was how insanely accurate you had to be with your shots. The hurt boxes were unforgiving to say the least. It feels like it's less strict as I play this new version. It just feels better. You gotta aim precisely, but you're not missing these tiny-ass targets by pixels anymore. They've also implemented some assistance features for people who struggle with aiming and other aspects of first-person shooters. If you're okay with appearing on a separate leaderboard, you can enable aim assist, no reloading, longer slow motion, a more forgiving level completion time. They're nice options to help widen the player base, and hopefully encourage some lesser skilled people to better themselves and eventually play with the assist options off. I actually played with all of the assist options on for a while without even noticing, because the game automatically had them enabled, so you'll want to check out the options menu before you play. Honestly, I didn't really mind playing with the assist options, I still had a lot of fun, and levels were still a challenge to figure out and to get a platinum time on. It's funny, playing this again, my initial thought was, okay, I already pushed myself hard to get platinum ranks last year, for this video, I'm just gonna casually look at all the new levels and not stress out too much. But before I knew it, I was hitting restart compulsively, trying to get platinum every time. I just don't want to accept less. But hey, that's where the fun is. Seeing how well you did, knowing you could have done it better, and saying, fuck it, I'm going again. It's only a 20 second level anyway, why not try again? That's the magic of Warstride Challenges. It gets you to start obsessing, like no score or time-based game I've ever seen. I am not a speedrunner, not in skill, nor in mentality. But I could not stop trying to get platinum times on every level I played. I didn't get them all, I had to settle for gold and a few, but something about this game is highly addictive. Meanwhile, you can be tracking the ghosts of people on your friends list, seeing how well they did, and competing with them. If you beat one of their times, when they open the game again, they'll get a notification that you've dethroned them. Really cool feature. After a year of not playing, I opened Warstride and got 20 notifications in a row that YouTuber Midnight had beaten nearly all my times. So I guess the game is on, Midnight. I'm gonna leave you in the dirt.
That's right, I got you. Many improvements have been made to Warstride, especially in the options department. You can widen your crosshair for better visibility, you can choose random songs and disable song interruption upon restart, you can mess with HUD options, customize a bunch of stuff about how your arsenal is handled. It just feels like a much better game now. You'll want to pay attention to these weapon options. I found that some levels benefit from auto-equipping weapons on pickup, and others don't. It's kind of crazy that changing these settings between levels can actually be part of your strategy. I'm absolutely loving the new chapter, The Forge. There's so much going on here. It's the kind of chapter that truly shows the evolution of talent behind this game. It just smashes the first two chapters. I'm sorry to say that, I like the first two chapters a lot, but The Forge is truly something else. Visually, it's remarkable. The construction of the levels is really engaging and fun to figure out. The addition of grappling and jump pads and several new enemies like the guys that hold explosives. It's a really good time. It's not just a new chapter though, new variations of past levels have also been included. That's one of the coolest things about this game's structure. You're given a series of levels to complete, and you can only unlock the final challenges by completing enough levels. But the number of levels provided does not actually give you enough credits to progress. You instead gain access to higher challenges in each level you've already completed, playing variations of those levels by doing them backwards or just doing things in different orders, different enemy placements. Harder and harder challenges for each level, until you have enough to move on to the arena challenges and eventually other chapters. There's nearly 200 challenges awaiting you, with bonus missions and some fun endurance missions in the big fun level menu, where instead of 10 to 20 second levels, you're playing something that lasts a minute or two. Lots of memorization required. There's seriously so much to enjoy here. Hell, I could just look at the menu for hours. Seeing this on my HDR monitor, it's like I'm staring into paradise. The colors are just so intense. Uh, what else can I say? The level editor, it's still there. I still have no idea how to use it. And I'm not gonna learn because I can't design for shit. But it's there and you can make whatever you want. I tried my hand at a few custom maps and good lord, you people are cruel, I swear. It took me 20 minutes to get through this level in 17 seconds. I just could not make the jumps near the end. Hell, near the beginning either. Sadistic level but it felt really good to pass it, even if I did get bronze and decide right then to never try it again. So yeah, this video is kinda short, but I covered the game before, and it would be tedious to turn this into an examination of every little thing they updated. It's honestly just a game that doesn't need that much said about it to sell you on the concept. It looks good, it feels good to play, it's challenging, it's got a lot of content, it's competitive with your friends, it teaches you great skills you can take into other shooters, there's custom levels, the soundtrack rocks, it's got accessibility options to help out the non-hardcore crowd. It gets a high recommendation from me, not just because the publisher is sponsoring the video either. When I reopened it, I suddenly remembered how much fun it is, and instantly became obsessed again. It's an excellent game, it'll be on the best of the year list without a doubt. This is Under the Mayo saying you should definitely be playing Warstride Challenges. Thank you to Focus Entertainment for sponsoring this video. It continues to be a pleasure to work with you. See you in the next video.